Heather, thanks. 650 now. This is your morning in eight minutes and this morning the FAA and the NTSB are both investigating after a plane lands on Interstate 26 in Asheville and catches fire. Yeah, we're hearing two people were on board at the time. Take a look at this video. The westbound side of the interstate is still shut down at last check. You can see the flames and heavy smoke. The crash happened around 815 yesterday evening. The FAA says it was a single engine plane with two people on board. We're still working to find out where the plane was headed and traveling from. The FAA and NTSB are investigating this morning. Those two people are in the hospital. We'll continue to update you both on air and inside your WVLT News app. And this morning, officials are investigating a deadly wreck involving a train in Loudoun County. Yeah, roads back open this morning after being shut down for hours. One person is dead. This happened in Philadelphia, the entrance to Sweetwater Valley Farm. Pond Creek Road and Christian Street had to be shut down. All roads are back open. We're digging for answers this morning. We'll continue to keep you updated inside your WVLT News app and, of course, on air. And this morning, three people charged, accused of breaking into more than 20 cars and stealing five. Officials say these thefts happened at an auto auction lot on Highway 411. This happened early Saturday morning. Monroe County Sheriff's Office responded to Copart Auto Auction after getting calls of people stealing cars. Deputies saying they found two suspects driving one of the cars and pulled them over. Two cars were still missing at the time just down the road at Marie's County Line Tavern. Deputies found another suspect and those two cars. All three of the suspects are now charged with burglary and theft. This morning, police in Cumberland County need your help finding two armed robbery suspects. Take a look at this. Police say this happened early Sunday morning at a motel in Cumberland County. If you know these suspects, call the number at the bottom of your screen now. The Crossville Cumberland County Crime Stoppers. And this morning, KPD is investigating a deadly shooting. The suspect is still on the run. Yeah, we now know the name of that shooting victim. Police say 51 year old Christopher Hill was killed in what investigators are calling a targeted shooting. This happened Wednesday afternoon outside of the Knox Rail Salvage on Depot Avenue near the old city. Officers found Hill next to a box truck shot at least once. He died at the scene. Police say the suspect left before they could get there. Detectives say they are working active leads, but if you know anything at all, call Crime Stoppers. That number's at the bottom of your screen and as always inside your WVLT News app. Israel is telling the U.S. its war in Gaza will likely last for several months, but a change in intensity could come much sooner. Yeah, President Biden and another top U.S. officials warn Israel to do more to protect civilians in Gaza. The Israelis have told the U.S. that the heavy airstrikes and large ground operations in the Strip should wrap up in the next two to three weeks. The Biden administration continues to come under increased public scrutiny at home, while some Americans are calling for a ceasefire. According to the United Nations, nearly 2 million people are displaced facing starvation. More than 100 hostages are still unaccounted for. Well, check your grills this morning. These flat top propane grills could catch fire and potentially explode. Federal safety experts say the flame adjustment knobs on these Traeger Flat Rock flat top grills are labeled incorrectly and it could be unintentionally left on. There are nearly 60 reports of this issue. No fires or injuries have been reported. They were sold at Ace Hardware and Home Depot. If you have one of these, reach out for an inspection and a refund. Well, today you'll see the final flea market at the Knoxville Expo Center after 21 years of the facility. Don't worry, still going to be in Knoxville, just moving to the historic Jacob building at Chilhowee Park, but only for six dates next year. It runs through the whole weekend. It's free for everyone. Today the flea market gets underway at 2 o'clock, runs until 6. Saturday and Sunday morning, things get started at 10. Something for everyone there. You'll find thousands of deals on electronics, gift ideas, jewelry, and clothes. For more information, just head inside your WVLT News app. And heads up, parents, today you can take the kids to see old St. Nick. Santa, even Mrs. Claus, will be at Tenova Healthcare in Turkey Creek. The two are going to be telling stories. You'll find carolers, face painting, and other treats. Kids can even make their own ornaments. This Tenova holiday event runs from 1130 this morning to 130 this afternoon. And it's graduation day on Rocky Top. Nearly 2,000 students will walk across the stage. Undergraduates get their degrees at 9 o'clock at Food City Center. Graduate students walk the stage later this afternoon at 3 o'clock. Congratulations to all. 
and East Tennessee cemeteries are getting ready to bring back wreaths across America to honor our veterans. It's happening tomorrow and Sunday in several counties, including Knox, Blunt, and Sevier. We've got a full list inside your WVLT News app. If you want to help place or sponsor a wreath, you'll also hear more about how you can honor veterans at 730 live from our Evan Lasik. We do want to get a check of your personal air traffic if you're just now getting out the door. This is a live look at I-40 right around Level Road. Still awfully quiet on the interstates and main roads ahead of that morning rush. So you are in good shape if you're just leaving now. Here's a look as you're traveling through West Knoxville from the 4075 split to Pellissippi Parkway into downtown Knoxville. I-40 is looking good there, even downtown on time. Your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Heather Haley. Five minutes to seven and yet again we've got a frosty cold morning in the 20s but yet again we have a lot of sunshine i'll just point out this is our last sunny day so let's enjoy transitioning from really 28 at 8 to quickly warming to 48 at noon so yes frosty cold 20s but upper 40s almost the normal high by lunchtime high today will be 57. it'll still be all clear this evening so temperatures drop quickly then mid 40s at 8. wanted to help you plan out your whole friday here as you're just getting out the door it is now 28 in knoxville 23 in middlesbrough to 25 la follette and 26 in Jamestown. Frosty, cold, clear sky. Now there is that lone pocket of fog still north and east Knox County, then right at South Knoxville branching off towards Seymour and the Blunt line. So just wanted to point that out. But that is the one spot that could slow you down before we slow down a little bit in some extra clouds tomorrow and then rain can slow us down early on Sunday. Looking at that first alert eight day planner, it's rainy to showers now moving that front in a little faster Sunday morning does help to at least give you a chance to get out and about Sunday afternoon. So I'm keeping an eye on that transition to scattered showers for your Sunday, but also to some wintry mix to snow showers, especially in our higher elevations Monday to Tuesday as that colder air moves in. So really turn and chilly midweek next week. I'll have the latest look at that cold front coming up for you at seven on the CW. Love a good Christmas chill. It just is. makes it feel like it the does season. feel appropriate. By the way, nine days, 17 hours oh, until wow. Christmas. Yeah. If you got your countdown, just getting you ready. We'll see you on WBXX.